The show Shark Tank is an American business reality television series on ABC that premiered in 2009 on August the 9th. The show is the American franchise of the international format Dragon's Den, which originated in Japan as named Tigers of Money, all the way back in 2001. It highlights entrepreneurs making business presentations to a panel of five investors or sharks who ultimately decide if they want to invest in the company or not. One of the richest sharks is Mark Cuban, the owner of the Dallas Mavericks, the NBA franchise. He's been on the show since season two, which dates all the way back to 2011. As of July 2017, he has invested into 85 deals across 111 Shark Tank episodes for a total of $19.9 million invested. So today we're going to cover a few of those times when Mark Cuban went all in on Shark Tank and had a high success rate. But before we kick off the video, make sure to leave a like on the video if you like Shark Tank and subscribe to our channel. Anyone care for a glass? Yes, please. Yes. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, th I thought you were joking. Yeah. Thank you, Lori. Here you go. Thank oh, you. Damon doesn't like champagne, so I'll take his. <laughs> Host totally does. In a season five episode back in 2013, Charles Yim got a five shark deal for Breathometer, a portable breathalyzer that was compatible with smartphones. He originally asked for $250,000 for a 10% stake in Breathometer, but all five sharks ended up investing a total of one million for a collective 30% stake in the company. It was the first time that all five sharks participated in a bid together. So you know how it goes when people go out, you grab food, maybe a couple of drinks, and before you know it, it's time to go back home. And the most common question that people should ask themselves is, are you safe to drive? Now, Yim presented a bulky breathalyzer stating that no one would want to carry it around and then presented the counter op <clears throat> and then presented the fix with to the sharks using breathometer. He described how you plug it into the audio jack and activated the app then proceeded to blow into the breathometer claiming that within a matter of seconds you'll get the results of your alcohol level and if you needed to request a cab you could do so at the push of a button however the app proved unreliable and was shut down by the federal trade commission as a determined 11 year old i started doing research and got to work creating the product i was looking for now lonnie lazari was just 18 years old when she entered a tank in 2013 on a season four episode she pitched her skincare company Simple Sugars, which is a Pittsburgh-based cosmetic company. She ended up making a deal with Mark Cuban for $100,000 in return for 33% equity. Within 24 hours of her episode premiere, Bizarre Simple Sugar share jumped from $50,000 to $220,000, and then she hit a million six weeks later. Her Simple Sugar products are in more than 700 retail stores and ship internationally. Recently, the company brought in more than $3 million in revenue, and this has also been one of Mark Cuban's most profitable investments from the show. So Mark Cuban made his biggest investment of Shark Tank in 2013 when he put down $2 million for a 20% stake in Melissa Carbone's horror action company, 1031 Productions. Carbone, who is the CEO and president, co-founded 1031 in 2009 with Allison Richards for the perps of launching the first large-scale haunted hayride in Los Angeles. After clearing out their bank accounts and scrapping together investments from friends, 1031 was selling out the Halloween season and bringing in $1.8 million in revenue. Cuban saw the potential the company had for other markets and jumped at it quick. He recently told business insiders that it's easily been one of his most profitable deals from the show. In 2017, 1031 hit a goal of $3 million in gross revenue and now has six brands, including two hayrides, a film outlet, Haunted Cruise Ghost Ship, and the live action horror film experiences in the summer, along with great horror movie night outings scattered throughout the year. And that will wrap up today's video. Again, if you guys enjoyed Shark Tank, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on post notifications to stay updated with our newest content, and we'll see you in future videos.